Did you know that nearly half of adults in the United States are suffering from or taking medication for hypertension? Hypertension is often called the silent killer, and for good reason. The condition provides little evidence that it exists until provokes a major cardiovascular event like a heart attack or stroke. Hypertension or high blood pressure is the leading controllable contributor to heart disease, heart failure, stroke, and end-stage renal disease. It also contributes significantly to the mortality of people with diabetes. Most often, there are no signs of hypertension at all. Very rarely do people have signs of hypertension and visit the doctor specifically to get a blood pressure diagnosis. But high blood pressure symptoms can appear when the condition becomes severe for an extended period of time. And in today's video, we'll tell you what these symptoms are. From headaches, blurred vision, anxiety, chest pain, to facial flushing, and more. Keep watching till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Headaches Headaches are among the most common symptoms of high blood pressure. Although headaches can occur for a variety of reasons, it's a good idea to monitor your blood pressure if you have persistent headaches. Studies suggest that the headaches linked to hypertension mostly affect both sides of the head. It tends to get worse over time and known to cause a pulsating effect. Number 2. Fatigue Fatigue and weakness also can occur for a variety of reasons, but can be an indicator of high blood pressure. Although fatigue can be attributed to a lifestyle choice, hypertension does cause tiredness. This is because the vital heart organ is overworked. You can tackle this lack of energy by keeping a healthy weight. Carrying a few extra kilos can make you feel tired faster. Excess weight will also contribute to high blood pressure and put you at a higher risk of developing heart disease. So keep active and eat healthy. Enjoying this list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Number 3. Nosebleeds if you have frequent nosebleeds that are hard to stop, hypertension may be the culprit. Another possible cause for nosebleeds is irritation of the nasal lining. Make sure it's not seasonal allergies that make you blow your nose constantly. Or if you've recently moved to a very dry climate, nosebleeds can occur more frequently because nasal passages are excessively dry. If you're on any medications that thin the blood, such as daily doses of aspirin, notify your doctor. Number 4. Chest Pain Chest pain should always be taken seriously, regardless of whether you suspect high blood pressure or not. Mild, intermittent chest pain can be one of the symptoms of high blood pressure or heart attack. Sometimes people aren't even aware that they've suffered one, chalking up the discomfort to indigestion. Even if it's not a heart attack, increases in blood pressure that remain unchecked can trigger a heart attack or stroke, so you should consult a doctor when experiencing any new chest pain. Number 5. Dizziness and Shortness of Breath High blood pressure often manifests itself as nervousness and shortness of breath. Middle-aged women may misinterpret these symptoms to be menopausal or stress symptoms. If these symptoms persist, high blood pressure could definitely be the culprit. This is also true if you get dizzy for no apparent reason, as dizziness is a common symptom of high blood pressure. For some people, the signs of high blood pressure can increase during the cold season. Number 6. Blurred Vision since high blood pressure can affect many organs in your body, it affects the blood vessels in the retina as well. They get stiffer and harden up, which can lead to blurred vision. Like the other symptoms, this is not exclusive of high blood pressure, but should be considered if you have any other symptoms. This blood vessel damage in the eyes can cause further harm if not checked. People are not aware that hypertension is linked to the eye. Number 7. Anxiety do you find yourself becoming anxious? High blood pressure is related to extreme levels of anxiety as well as stress. While a little stress is common in daily life, taking undue stress can lead to an unimaginable amount of anxiety. This symptom should not be ignored, and you should go to your doctor. Feeling worried can cause your blood pressure to rise, increasing your heart rate. Number 8. Pounding in your chest or ears if you have a sensation of pulsing or pounding in your ears or in your chest when you haven't been exercising vigorously, it could indicate elevated blood pressure. It could also be related to drinking too much caffeine, so try cutting back on the coffee and soda. Anxiety can have the same effect, so try meditation or a relaxing activity to see if the pounding sensation resolves. Number 9. Facial Flushing Facial flushing occurs when blood vessels in your face dilate. It can occur unpredictably or in response to certain triggers such as sun exposure, cold weather, spicy foods, wind, hot drinks, and skincare products. Facial flushing can also occur with emotional stress, exposure to heat or hot water, alcohol consumption, and exercise, all of which can raise blood pressure temporarily. While facial flushing may occur while your blood pressure is higher than usual, high blood pressure is not the cause of facial flushing. 
Okay, now that we've told you the symptoms of hypertension, it's very important for you to know what really causes hypertension in the first place. Here are some of the causes. Number one, being overweight or obese. This is one of the biggest risk factors for hypertension, especially in younger people. That's because excess body fat puts strain on your heart, which can cause your blood pressure to rise. The good news is that losing weight, even just a little bit, can lower your blood pressure. Number two, eating a diet high in sodium, calories, saturated fat, and sugar. According to the AHA, this type of diet can increase your risk of developing high blood pressure. The good news is that adjusting your diet is often helpful in lowering your blood pressure. So regardless of whether or not you're at risk for high blood pressure, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your salt and sugar intake and avoid processed foods whenever possible. Number three, having too much alcohol regularly. Drinking in excess is bad for you for a number of reasons, but you can add risk of high blood pressure to the mix. Regular, heavy use of alcohol can cause your blood pressure to increase, leading to other health complications. Number four, not getting enough exercise. Regularly getting up and moving is good for you and your overall health. It can also help you keep your blood pressure in check, but not exercising often or at all increases your risk. Make it a point to get the recommended 150 minutes per week of moderate exercise or 75 minutes per week of vigorous exercise. It will do your blood pressure and overall health some serious good. Number five, living with chronic stress. You may have heard that stress can raise your blood pressure temporarily, which it can when you're frazzled, but chronic stress is really something to worry about when it comes to your blood pressure. A lot of times when you have stress, that elevates your blood pressure for that moment in time. But if you stress all the time, that's building up issues in your blood vessels. Number six, a family history of high blood pressure. Unfortunately, if high blood pressure runs in your family, you're at an increased risk of developing it too. Obviously, you can't help your genetics, but environmental issues within your family, like poor dietary choices and lack of exercise, could contribute to this as well. Number seven, your age. Getting older is great, but unfortunately, the older you are, the higher your risk of developing high blood pressure. As you get older, your blood vessels become less elastic, which can increase your blood pressure. Clearly, you can't help this factor, but you can take other blood pressure-friendly steps to help modify your risk. Number eight, your race. African American men and women are more likely to develop high blood pressure than people of any other race in the US. They develop high blood pressure at a younger age and develop more severe complications sooner in life. Number nine, gender. Men are more likely to have high blood pressure than women until the age of 45, but women are more likely to have high blood pressure from 65 and up. Unfortunately, this is a factor that is beyond your control. Do you or someone in your family suffer from hypertension? What was the symptom that gave it away? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy!